also known as Surakarta, is located in central Java. The city is the epicenter of Javanese culture, which plays an enormous part in the people's daily lives. Main attractions in Solo include the two palaces, the Mangku Nagaran, and the Kasunanan. We visited Pasar Gede, which literally means the big market. Indeed, it is the biggest traditional market in town with nearly 1,000 stalls. This is the place where people from all walks of life congregate, from tourists, local pedicab drivers, to ladies selling jamu, a traditional herbal drink. We tried a local delicacy called surabi, a Javanese pancake that can easily be found in Pasar Gede. Surabi is made from rice flour and coconut milk, cooked in a clay pot mold and served on banana leaf. The sweetness and soft texture of this dessert makes it a perfect tea time snack. We stayed at Rumahku, a boutique hotel located in the heart of the famous Kampung Batik Lawean. The hotel was built in 1938, and it used to be the residence of a wealthy batik merchant. The hotel pays tribute to the heritage of the city. Portraits of Kiai Haji Samanhudi, one of Indonesia's national heroes who was born in Lawayan, decorate the hotel walls. Laoyan is one of the must-visit places in Solo. Residents of Laoyan have been making batik for centuries, and today, the tradition lives on. Laoyan is the reason why Solo is widely known as Indonesia's batik city. Without doubt, it is a great place to experience Javanese culture. <laughs>